Yeah, there are a lot of fun parts to this movie. Gavin, what's your favorite part? Gosh, the, the guy is so weird, but it's when uh, Branch and Poppy are, are going to try to find where their friend is being held with the Bergens. Then they meet this cloud guy that shows up out of nowhere. <laughs> And then he's just, he's trying to get Branch to give a high five, but then it like does a little fist bump and he's like, he's going over here and he's like, um, like that and then gear shift. It's, like it's so weird, but I laughed that entire time. I really like that cloud guy. Yeah, that's, that's a hilarious character. Really funny scene. I actually think uh, it's really funny when Poppy first like goes on her mission and it's like everything is going wrong and she's singing that song like, I'll, you know, I'm going to keep going. I'll get back up again. I think that whole scene is really, really funny as she's singing. It's like just shows what this whole movie is really about. It's like keeping a happy attitude and optimism even when things don't go your way. Uh, if you haven't seen the movie, so it's about trolls. It's called Trolls. The trolls are just happy, singing and dancing all the time, celebrating. Uh, and then there's these giants called the Bergens. At least they're giants to the tiny trolls. And uh, Poppy and Branch, like Gavin mentioned, like they actually go on this mission to rescue the rest of the trolls that have been kidnapped um, by the Bergens. And so, yeah, it's a really fun adventure. And this whole movie reminds me of a verse uh, that's in the Bible. It's from the book of Ephesians. Um, it's chapter 5, verse 19 through 20. Let me read it to you. It says this, Speaking to one another with psalms, hymns, and songs from the Spirit. Sing and make music from your heart to the Lord, always giving thanks to God the Father for everything. In the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. So there were some words in there like psalms and hymns, but these were basically just songs praising God. And the guy who wrote this book, his name is Paul. And he was going through some really tough stuff in his life when he was writing this, but he knew that no matter what happened to him, he could always praise Jesus because Jesus is always worth celebrating no matter what. And that's actually our main point today. It's that Jesus is worth celebrating. Yeah, and in the movie, you see kind of like, the, the trolls, they're always celebrating. The, no matter what they're going through, again, like my favorite scene, like Poppy's celebrating, she's singing, even though she's like going through all this tough stuff. And ultimately, like how the trolls and the Bergens, like everything works out and they become friends. Um, and the Bergens actually start singing along and dancing with the trolls. It's all about like, hey, you know, life is worth celebrating. And that reminds us that, you know, as Christ followers, as followers of Jesus, we should always be celebrating Jesus. Yeah, that's right. And although things will go bad and good in our lives, like we can always celebrate Jesus because Jesus is worth celebrating all the time. Whenever we're at church and celebrating just like that, people around us or people who don't know who Jesus is, whenever we celebrate him, they will, they will see that and they may want to know what our happiness and joy is all about. So through us celebrating Jesus, people will see that Jesus is always worth celebrating. Yeah, and you, you celebrate like not just here at church, but during the week, you gotta celebrate all the time. You just gotta feel it. You can't, can't stop the feeling. Okay, okay, just all right, calm down. Can't stop. Sorry, right. my bad. Well, yes, Jesus is worth celebrating. And we're gonna talk about that in our groups right now, but whenever you watch Trolls, feel free to celebrate like Matt here because that <laughs> should remind you that Jesus is always worth celebrating. So have a great week. And we'll see you next time at the movies.